No. Dueling thing, do we? But, dueling, uh, at dueling, dueling at dawn. Dueling at dawn. Jewels at dawn. Get your jewels out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good morning, Britain and America Ooh. and the rest of the world. I hope you've woken up to a beautiful, glorious day. Well, um, we certainly have. <laughs> so, um, today we are looking at uh, some new old guitars from Epiphone. I love these. Um, back in the 50s, the late 50s. Uh, this is after Gibson acquired the Epiphone brand. Um, Gibson and Epiphone, although it was owned by the same company, they kind of had this idea that the two brands would be developed slightly differently. So obviously mm. you had Gibson um, had the Les Paul at the time and the SG was uh, soon to be born. Um, but in 59, uh, Epiphone came out with these sort of Oh, do you know what? I almost hadn't even really thought about this, but it, is this almost like the pre-runner to the SG? Just saying. It could. It, well, um, it very much could be. So, was it like a? Did they use it like a, as a, a student? Like, was that the was that the thing or not? I don't know that it's documented terribly well, and I don't know that there are many people still alive who were around at the time. But obviously, oh, God, certainly yeah. more recently, well, really from the seventies onwards, Epiphone has been used as the Far Eastern brand uh, for to make really mostly Gibson copies. Yeah. But obviously prior to Gibson acquiring Epiphone, they were they were a big competitor of Gibson's. They mm. were they were their own uh, a, a manufacturer in their own right. An older, right? Older older yeah, it's an older much, company. Much older company. Um and but yes, there was this odd time so so shortly after Gibson acquired the Epiphone brand, they still continued to develop, you know, original Epiphone ideas. Huh? And the electric guitars were there were three guitars. One of them will be on screen now, which is the Coronet. And you can see it looks very much like the one I'm holding, but with a single sort of dog ear version of this P90 and a wraparound tailpiece. And a as wraparound. A uh, yeah. <laughs> and as a result of the, the single pickup, no switching and only two controls. Then we go up to the, the Wilshire, which is the one I'm holding here, which is a, a two uh, P90, but in the soap bar design now, um, with a 
a, a normal tunomatic tailpiece and some switching here, but it's basically the same body, same neck, all that kind of stuff. And then the deluxe one was the Crestwood. Crestwood, where did they get these names from? Wil Wil Wiltshire is Wiltshire. obviously a county, well, Wiltshire, Wiltshire, Not Wilts. where Rob Chapman was originally from, uh, is a county in England. And I'm guessing that Wiltshire is like an American kind of... Wiltshire, so it's not you know, with a T, like it's Wiltshire. Wiltshire. Yeah. It's like uh, a hobbit yeah, town. Yeah, Coronet is a Crestwood. crown, and Crestwood, I don't know, maybe that's another place in, in, uh, in America somewhere. But, Crestwood. Um, and oh. you can see on the Crestwood, you've got now mini humbuckers. And, More bling, isn't it? Um, and a kind of a trim system yeah. of some sort. Yeah, and it actually it looks like it's pretty. It's a pretty stable trim where the strings go through and then around, which means that it's easy to mm. restring. I would, I would assume. Probably more reminiscent of a Bigsby than a sort of a Strat style. Yeah, trim, with the little, it? with the little. It, it works really well, actually. It's mm. really cool. I, I've, I, the, um, the the guy who plays guitar for the Roots, uh, Kirk. What's his last name? Hammett. No, it's not. No, not that it's one. not him. He plays one of these, and I remember watching Prince playing with the third eye, which is not that, but he's where he's wearing these three glasses, and he's got a band that, of girls playing right. with him. Where I, the Danish guitar uh, bass player, was playing with him, and he borrowed Kirk's original old guitar like this. And what Prince always does when he's done, he just throws it. So he threw it, but nobody called it. No. Yeah, I think, and that was that's all Naughty some, somewhere. Naughty guy. He was. Well, look, anyway, we need to you, play yeah. So as you guys know, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, there was a change of ownership at Gibson. And since uh, the, the new team have been in, they've been going through the, the models in the Gibson and the Epiphone range and kind of aligning them into either an original series um, where the guitars are sort of tried to sort of faithfully reproduce guitars from yesteryear or into the modern series where they'll do a modern twist on it. Yeah. And, so, and so this is part of this um, Epiphone original series. So all inspired by designs that, that came out in the 50s, late 50s. Um, so tones wise, I'll do tones of this because I guess you'll, you should get a, 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 a sort of like a good flavor for what the, the Coronet, the cheaper one of this will sound like when I'm on the, the bridge pickup here. Mm. As I said, the different tail piece will give it maybe a slightly different vibe, but the bodies and the, the necks are all the same across the three guitars. So all mahogany body, mahogany neck, and this sort of very, very slightly shorter than 24 and three quarter inch scale length. So 62, eight millimeters. Huh? 62, 600. eight millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> so I meant to say 600. Yeah. 600. Oh so my God, it's early. Here, here is a sans pedal strum. <laughs> 62, eight. Of uh, I'll start with the bridge pickup, you know, I'll go back to front because the bridge, this will be the, the, the one the coronet has too. Now you do have yeah. volume and tone on, on the coronet as do well you? as the, uh, as well as the wheelchair. But it helps if you use the right one. See? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, whilst I'm fiddling with knobs, I should tell you these are CTS pots. So ex quite expensive uh, yeah. pots for, yeah. for a guitar at this price point. So as any player with a single single pickup guitar will tell you, you know, you kind of got to work it all from the fingers, from the pick dynamics, and then you've just got a little bit going on down here. Still a good selection of tones in there. Absolutely. Um, anyway, middle position. With my newfound pickup knowledge, I can tell you that a soap bar is essentially the same as a single coil pickup, but where one solid magnet runs underneath it, as opposed to having six magnetized pole pieces. There you go. Uh, so it's still going to have the single coil kind of little hum, but it's a fatter sound, yeah. but still nice and chimey. Um, I like a P90. Rhythm pickup on the top here. Nice and comfy to play, typical kind of C shape. Yep. Um, 
sort of like a 60s taper type neck. Rolled boards and... 22 frets by the looks of things. Oh. And uh, yeah, a symmetrical body. So, you know, there's no sense that one horn is slightly longer than the other. Hello. Uh, vintage style tuners with the button, like the plastic buttons on the end. This whole range, I think the Coronet's 350, this is 399, and then that's just shy of 500. That's cool, uh, man. But let's get some gain on. So I'm going to use this uh, Zen drive here for a sort of a bit of fuzzy kind of gain, I guess. <laughs> And then, You're enjoying that because you keep playing now. So yeah, that's, that's bridge a good pick up. You're about to join in, weren't you? Yeah, it's we'll fine. jam at it's the fine, end, fine, otherwise fine. the videos take forever to do. Um, again, kind of this type of idea with the with the the P90 at the the bridge with the tone rolled back. You got that American woman kind of. Probably is a bit brighter. Maybe a different kind of drive pedal, actually. Let's try. Yeah. Um... I don't know the riff, but you get the idea. I can tell. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a sort of a hybrid demo of the Wilshire and the Coronet. Colours these are available in, he says looking at his notes, are the same. So you can get them in uh, black, which they call ebony. I've got a tortoiseshell kind of guard on that's the cool, uh, Wilshire. I'm not sure what guard's on the Coronet, but you can see on the screen now. And then they also do these two guitars in cherry. So that kind of see-through red. Cherry. Uh, laurel, uh, Indian laurel fretboard. Laurel. <laughs> no case, uh, just but cases are optional extras. There you go. So that's my little demo over. I like that guitar, pretty cool. Let's move on to this. As you can see, it's just the more deluxe version. Uh, same specs on everything with the CTS pots. But this one I've got Pro Mini Humbuggers on it, which is, uh, of course, mm. going to make it a different sounding thing. Big block inlays. Uh, this is a piece of laurel as well. Is it? Yeah, with a little nice little E for Epiphone, or if you turn it that way up, I've always wondered that on the on the on the shape. Actually, it looks like um, a logo I've seen before, but I don't know what it is. If you if you look at the logo like this way, I don't know, man. I mean, it's like you're getting into sort of deep. Uh, what are they called? The, I mean, Illuminati yeah, kind it's, of territory it's, it's, here. Uh, aren't maybe we? it's something I've Who seen on a, on a superhero costume somewhere. Whatever. Um, trim arm with a little spring, which you said reminds you a little bit of a Bixby. I say it's it's actually really nice the way that it goes around and it's attached there as well. So the whole thing kind of anyway, I like that. I like that. So rhythm neck pickup. What a nice sustain, right? Can I can I ask a I'm sorry to interrupt sorry. your immediate no, demo, but the two <laughs> holes on that tremolo arm, do you think the idea is you can move the position of the tremolo arm so yes. you can have it shorter or absolutely. Or, yeah, yeah. So That's you can actually, cool. yeah, you can you can put it down there and. Do you see what I'm? It, Pete can point at the holes now. I guess the idea is you just unscrew that first one and then just reattach it using one of the Absolutely. other holes. So if, if you want a shorter trem arm, or, so a shorter trem arm will give you like less play. Yeah. And a longer trem arm, more more play in it. But yeah, it's cool, man. You. What a you clever those, idea. Yeah. What it's a clever, clever idea. idea. Yeah. 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 Anyway, sorry. Duesenberg does kind of the same thing, but you have to unscrew it and then you can put the arm through. No. So it's like it goes. Oh, yes, I've seen it. It yes. does that, doesn't Very it? Clever. And then it comes out the other side. Very clever. And yeah. um, Dave Gilmore and, and, or David Gilmore and, and Hank Marvin, I think, had the same idea, but they just did it with a with a hacksaw. They literally just sawed, they sawed it off. the end of their tremolo arms off to give them shorter arms. Like a T Rex. Yeah, like a T Rex. Uh, <laughs> anyway, back to the demo there. I like the sustaining.
I just added a little bit of a, a boost there, and then the middle position sounds great, doesn't it? Just I did. Really, it does and it's, you know what's really nice to play. It's really nice to play. I really like this. I'm enjoying this guitar. Oh, my arm's stuck. Oh, my fingers <laughs> stuck in there. This is the problem with these small guitars, that everything is so close with this. Yeah. And now you're trying to do that. And <laughs> oh, you can, oh, you can do that. <laughs> Fantastic. And that, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm struggling a bit today, ladies and gentlemen. But here we go. So uh, where do we get to? Uh, uh, bridge to pick up. <laughs> I think it sounds great, it, doesn't it? What does it remind you of, tonally? I don't really know what it reminds me of, but I like these mini humbuggers. I think I played once at like a... Did they do a Les Paul? Yeah, in the, with mini, in the or, 70s, uh, the Les Paul Deluxe had mini humbuckers, and then, and then it again, was SG, obviously, Firebird. Firebird? It's more Firebird. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's the tones. It's funny, isn't it? It's, it's not... There's not... It's, it's probably the... It's probably the least well used of all the kind of pickup types, isn't it? You know, the, pin, like the, the mini humbucker. Yeah, mini humbucker. <laughs> <laughs> Too much coffee today. Let's try a bit of uh, gain. It's really nice and there's a lot of sustain in here. I really like it. kind of crazy that. as well is that not that long ago things like original, you know, Will Shears and Crestwoods and stuff you they were they were one of the the sort of the the vintage guitars that that took a long time to become valuable yeah so it wasn't that long ago that you could have actually probably picked up a genuine original one of these for you know thousand pounds or something yeah, like yeah. that but we were looking on um ebay and reverb earlier on and so, some of them are going for like five grand yeah now. they're so, very expensive now but uh, but i get i definitely can see the kind of guitar player that this would appeal to yeah i think it's you know it's definitely someone that it's, it's almost like the Jazzmaster Jaguar kind of fan where they're just kind of like, I just want something that's going to give me a slightly different look and a Absolutely. vibe to a Strat or a Tele or a Les Paul or something. I think it's, um, and, and it's a great to, to, uh, yeah. to have a tool to have in your arsenal of guitars yeah. if you're they a session They kind of remind me, this very rounded, slightly thinner body kind of almost reminds me of like a, like a K catalogy kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, those kind of very typical student, sort of a aimed at student guitars. And although, see that bit here, co read, completely flat here. I did read that even weird. in 1959, one of these would have had a retail price in America of $120. Really? Which I think if you, you know, if you add all the inflation wow. and everything over the last, what's that going to be, 70, 60 years, whatever. Yeah. It's still thousands and thousands of pounds. Yeah, to it is, get, yeah. You know, if, if you did that in sort of today's money. So these are, these are cool. They're cool, man. Let, I mean, let me just quickly put some fuss on before. Do it. Sorry to interrupt, but... Put That's cool. It's a great that sound, isn't it? Great. Let's just. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what the guitar is, but I, in my head, I've got this picture of the woman that fronts Alabama Shakes playing is that something. an SG? Is it? 
Oh, she play one of these? I don't know. I, you're gonna. Someone's gonna go. I'd leave. You dream that, you know. But I'm, no, I, no, just, yeah, I yeah, vaguely I remember seeing something on Jules Holland where she's kind of rocking out on something similar to these kind of things. Stone and I think machine, that man. the fact that it is, you know, it's slightly shorter scale. It's very lightweight. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely going to appeal to someone that maybe finds a, you know, like a Les Paul or something like that, just a bit too heavy or a bit too, you know, a bit too big to play. Anyway, oh, cool. well, look, there we go. So yes, that's uh, three new guitars, kind of new, new reissued guitars from Epiphone for 2020. White um, comes in white and this color, and I, I love the white one. That looks. Does amazing. the white one still have the white it, pickup? It looked uh, like pick guard through the middle. Yeah, it looked like it was hey, the same. Let's but, put one on the telly yeah, now. We'll put them on can, the telly. You can see. This is I've mocked constantly by uh, all my colleagues yeah. for being uh, old and not down with you know new with technology kids. and kids this is I, I one thing i like to say is that dust gets under here dust gets under no, here oh. so that, um, but you know there you go hey. take it off clean take it, it off, every so often it. yeah what can i say right okay are we uh, are we done or are we jamming <laughs> we're or? done we're Let's done <laughs> latest potatoes yeah like and subscribe thank you